I got my first and only tattoo within only like three minutes decision and it's mm, pretty cute. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shou Shou Chinese, Shou Shou Zhongwen, I'm Shou. Today we're going to talk about tattoos. Everybody hates Chinese culture when they have to learn them, but everyone loves Chinese culture when it comes to art. Chinese characters, especially the traditional ones, are just so beautiful and elegant and ethic, 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 and special. They are just like pictures representing meanings and emotions. So that's why when people are trying to make some tattoos on their bodies, they prefer to use some Chinese characters. But sometimes they don't know what exactly does the character mean. In this video, I'm going to show you and show myself some tattoos with Chinese characters. Some of them are beautiful and elegant, but some of them are just dumb. At the end of this video, I will give you some tips to get an ideal Chinese tattoo from the aspect of a Chinese native speaker, how to avoid some stupid mistakes. So if you're interested in Chinese characters or you're about to get a tattoo with Chinese characters, or you just want to see how stupid and hilarious those tattoos could be, Keep watching. The first one, hey, I xing xing wei. Did, did I just say xing xing wei on screen? Oh my god, I did it again. So I got your idea, but the tattoo was, but the tattoo with love sexual behavior cannot get you more opportunities of it. Okay, let's see number two. I guess it is a xing gan, which means sexy. Okay, I think it is not a bad idea to have a, a word saying sexy on your neck because this looks so sexy, right? But um, why do you separate the character? Anyway, it is like sexy. <laughs> Maybe you want to show that your neck is thin, but why don't you just use a smaller font size? Let's see the next one. G chicken. Okay, I guess she was born in the year of rooster, so she wanted to, you know, tattoo the zo zo zodiac of her. But, isn't it also weird if you directly tattoo a chicken rooster on your body? It looks so weird to a Chinese person, because most of the time we just regard chicken as a domestic fowl. And also, ji is another way for us to call prostitute in a relatively Virgo way. <laughs> Actually, if you were born on the year of dragon like I was, it is not a bad idea to have a Chinese character for long, which means dragon, on your body. But please do remember, you need to choose the traditional character for long instead of the simplified character. I will put them there so you can make a comparison. The traditional one is much prettier. If you were born in the year of ox or pig, please don't tattoo them on your body. It's so stupid. All right, let's see. Next one. Tang Niao Bing Diabetes. I, I kind of got all the intentions of the previous tattoos that I just showed you, like chicken as a zodiac and a lot of sexual behavior, okay? That's your rights, that's fine. But diabetes? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I don't know why so many people like to tattoo shit on your body. I mean, why don't you just tattoo the, 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 the shape of a shit on your body? That would be more straightforward, right? Okay. Why? Just tell me why. Dumb Americans, I hear you there. This is a splendid idea. Tired of remembering all Chinese food? Just tattoo the menu on your body. Next time when a waiter comes to you, you just have to point on your body. And, I wanted this, I wanted this, I wanted this. 我不知道,我不会说中国话. I actually like this idea. Imagine that the other day your friends comes to you and ask you, Hey dude, cool tattoo, what does it mean? And you say, I don't know, I don't know Chinese language. And your friends will be like, uh, you don't know what your tattoo means? And you say, I do know. 
Okay, then what does it mean? I don't know, I don't speak Chinese language. What's the problem with you? This was my idea, this was my idea. I always wanted a tattoo written in a really rare language like Pony or Klingon writing this is a tattoo and you know this is just so straightforward nobody can read it but I just simply and directly tell others this is a tattoo all right well I understand you want to have a cool tattoo on your body because it's so prominent and it's always go with you but there are so many things that could go wrong if you choose the tattoo in Chinese characters you're not a native Chinese speaker and also most importantly your tattoo artist is not a Chinese native speaker so they they don't even know what the tattoo means and even if you do know the translation of the Chinese sculptures you may not know whether there are some awkward and some other meanings hiding after the normal translation so what I suggest you to do is before you finally get the tattoo, go ask any Chinese native speakers, maybe your friends, your teacher, or somebody on social media, maybe me, get as many advices as possible because a tattoo is gonna go with you forever. But I'm the one to talk. I got my first and only tattoo within only like three minutes decision and it's mm, pretty cute. A tattoo gonna go with you forever forever after you have chosen the character you are gonna put on your body be more picky on the tight faces cuz I'm gonna show you some examples look at this one love and this one epiphany happiness beautiful words but the font are you kidding me my three-year-old niece could write better than this Nailed it. on the other hand these are some great examples for beautiful tattoos with nice character, nice meaning, and beautiful typefaces. Jing Yan Shen Xing is from Li Ji, the Book of Rights, which means a real man should act and speak cautiously. Yong Shi, Ai, Warrior and Love. Fan Yu Suo Xiang, Jie Shi Xu Wang. I love this one. This one is from Jing Gang Jing, the Diamond Sutra, which means possessions of signs. There is falsehood. Wow. So two things you need to keep in mind. The first one, do choose the right Chinese characters. You will prefer to make it in traditional characters. Spend more time on choosing the right character phrases and sentences. Ask native speakers for their advices. Because no matter how autistic the typefaces are, shit is always shit. Second, don't use the typefaces that looks like you directly printed them from the computer. Alright, so these are all the content of this video. I hope you like this video. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos. I'm sure from Shuo Shuo Zhongwen. I will see you in my next video. 再见!